Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jacob Yamada Kana Mebdi coming at you with like some kind of vlog. Uh, I want to speak about tilt. I want to speak about what it is. I want to speak about how you prevent it and how you train yourself to be better at preventing yourself to tilt in a game. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to define what tilt is. In my eyes, tilt is when, whenever you're distracted from the task at hand. Tilt is uh, often more connected with something that is more negative, when you are angry, when you're sad. But I want to uh, put it all in the same bundle. Whenever you're distracted, uh, may that be of some thoughts. Maybe you're playing in the OCS and you have this thought in your mind that... Um, Oh, if I do this play, I'm going to be on top of the Reddit list and uh, so on. And this is the thought that is coming into your mind. This is a type of tilt, right? You are distracted. Or if it's just your teammate in solo queue did something horrible, he did something terrible. Let's say you're playing top lane, you know, you are 10 years ahead at like four minute mark. You're happy. All of a sudden your top lane, your jungler is like, damn, man, we can dive this sucker up in top lane. He comes in there and all of a sudden... He dives, misses his cocoon, repels too early, tanks the turret, enemy guy has a double buff. You think you can solve the situation because you're committing with your teammate and all of a sudden you're dead too and the game is in a horrible state. All of a sudden you feel tilted. In that sense, it is distracting, right? In the perfect sense, you know, in a perfect sense when you focus on something, it's about thinking primarily about what you can do to make the situation better, right? So whenever you focus, um, let's say in the sense that you focus on studying, you only think about studying, you're focused, all your thoughts are centered around studying. In the sense when you're tilting, your thoughts are elsewhere, they're not focusing just on your gameplay, you focus on your teammate that is bad, you're focusing on that Reddit big play, you're focusing on the, the smell that is in there. There could be a lot of senses, you know, everything that is involved. It's uh, a lot of the things that happen in your mind, those are thoughts, and there could be other feelings that can attribute to being distracted. So the main thing, you know, it could be, let's say your grandmother's cooking your favorite food, you can feel the smell, all of a sudden you think about that smell, you know, it's all about these distractions. That is what tilt is in the end. Tilt is the more negative version, you know, you're angry at someone, you're sad because of something that is happening. But in general, the collective word that I would use for it is being distracted, not focusing at contributing and focusing at um, doing the best thing you can to achieve victory inside of a game or anything in life for that matter. So that is the definition of tilt for me, being distracted off of your focus. And in our uh, kind of sense of it, we are going to focus on uh, the League of Legends example. When you're in a Soul queue game, you're tilted, all right? So the first thing that we have to understand is that emotions, you know, these are emotions, right? You get angry at your teammate, this, these are emotions. Emotions happen to everyone. The goal is not to become a robot, you know, stone cold, you know, ice man, and you just, you don't feel anything and you just, you're a robot pretty much. That is not the goal. The goal is to understand when these emotions occur to you, you know, emotions are very natural. Anyone has emotions. It's about understanding yourself. When this happens to you, when you're distracted by these emotions, it's about recentering your focus at the task at hand. So in a sense that... Let's say uh, you get angry, you have to kind of snap out of it. You have to recognize I'm getting angry now. It is not beneficial to my situation. I need to recenter my focus. That is the main idea behind meditation, right? You recenter your focus. You focus only on your breathing. That is the task at hand. You focus on your breathing in through your nose, in out through your mouth. This is the idea of meditation. You have focus on one simple thing and no matter what sounds no matter what happens you recenter your focus and getting distracted is very normal you know we are very active as human beings we have a lot of thoughts we have so many things that we process all the time because we are amazing like that uh, as human beings that we can process so many things at at one time and focusing on one thing at all times is very difficult it's a skill that you have to train and when these emotions and distractions happen it's about understanding that they happen to you 
that is the main idea of meditation, right? Meditation is about practicing this. It's about being centered and focused on one thing. There's a lot of other benefits to meditation too, but I want to focus on this. You center your focus on one thing and then you free yourself from distractions. When they happen, they're going to happen. If they happen, it's a positive thing. It's about training yourself to step away from these distractions and then eventually, of course, recentering your focus at the task at hand. So meditation is something that I very, very profusely um, recommend. It's very important. You know, meditation is the way uh, you train uh, being uh, understanding of uh, your own emotions, your body. It's about being mindful in that sense. And I, I think it's important that we draw this contrast on how meditation can be used in a legal agent context because a lot of people say, yeah, meditation is great, meditation is fantastic, but it's important to understand why meditation is great. And the reason is, in any sense, legal legends, CSGO, whatever you do, you get distracted by a lot of things. It's about recentering your focus at the task at hand, right? The same way meditation is about recentering your focus on your breathing, you have to be present in the moment, be very present in the moment, don't let uh, time fly and let um, all these uh, things control you in that sense, emotions and uh, negativity, positive emotions as well sometimes can be very distracting, you know, so let's say you're laughing and all of a sudden you're not as focused, a lot of things can be uh, very distracting, it's about maintaining focus. The other thing as well is uh, with meditation, you know, uh, a lot of times, you know, for a lot of people, uh, if you have a routine in uh, in your life, let's say you are doing the same thing over and over. You wake up, you go to school, you go back and you play the legend the entire day, you go to bed and all of a sudden it feels like the day just flies by, right? The day just flies by because this is very automatic for you. Not a lot of thinking is put into how you structure the day. Not a lot of um, thought process is added to how you structure the day. And of course, this is not positive, right? You want to have um, uh, you, you want to have good routines, but you also want to uh, make sure that you have goals for yourself daily, and that you, um, of course, have thoughts and ideas behind everything that you do. And um, the idea why I'm bringing this up is in Legal Legends, the same thing uh, needs to be done for maximum efficiency. If you are doing something, there has to be a clear thought process in your actions. If you are picking a champion into a different champion, uh, you do it because if you have you have reasons. You are doing trades because you have reasons. You are doing plays because you have reasons. You are thinking actively about what you're doing. You're adding your own thought process to it. And sometimes, you know, if you play enough games, you know, it is very hard to maintain this type of focus throughout every single game. But it's very important that when you're in a game, being present in the moment, like I talked about before, being focused on the moment is about applying your thoughts and thought process to whatever you're doing at the current time. It's about being present, right? So this is what meditation is. This is a simplified version of it. You focus on your breathing. It's very easy. It's automatic. It's very present, right? You don't think about the past breath or the future breath. You only think about the breath that you are currently inhaling and exhaling. So it's very easy when it comes to breathing, but it's still a very good exercise. In League of Legends, it's a bit more difficult because it's uh, playing League at the high level is way more complex than just breathing, right? So when it comes to League, you want to always apply thought process. You always want to focus on what's going on. How do you contribute to the game? How can I uh, do better here? Or oh, the enemy team, uh, they bought a lot of armor. I need to get a last whisper. You know, these are very simple thoughts, but I hope you understand the gist of it, right? Should I do this trade? Should I commit here? The jungler is active, you know? The brain is very powerful in that way that we can process a lot of things. And if we learn a way to actively push ourselves to use our mind to only focus on one, on one task, then, you know, uh, the limits are, you know, the sky is the limit pretty much. So the main idea is to uh, find a way to free yourself from distractions. Meditation is a very good way to do this. You uh, make sure that you have focus and being focused means that um, you put all your thoughts and your energy into one task, right? And that is, uh, in this example, playing good legal legends. So, we went through 
about uh, went through emotions and what they mean for us you know and we also meant went through uh, focus and what that means to us the main thing is you know i want to end this on the note that i strictly you know i 100 recommend meditation meditation is about practicing this skill to be focused at all times this is very difficult you know we are very active in our brain as human beings so it's all about just being present in the moment you know, a, a good, very healthy tip that I can tell you guys that I always tell my players and I use myself is when you look at the clock, right? If you look at the clock, it feels like time is so slow. If you're just looking at your your, your wristwatch or your, your clock that is on the wall, time goes very, very slow. You see it tick, 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 right? It goes very, very slow. The same thing can be done in game. You know, if you feel like things are going too fast and you're not really present and you're just running automatic, you can take a moment to stop, look at the in-game time and recognize the time is not going that fast, you know. Sometimes, you know, you can blink and all of a sudden you're five minutes in the game, ten minutes in the game, because at one point if you do something over and over, you become automatic, you know, you become automatic and when you become automatic, you stop improving in that sense. You know, some players have very good routines and uh, have a good way of improving even in their automatic sense of it but usually for most people they do same thing over and over and they expect things to change so it's important that you're present in the moment think about what you're doing it's much easier to improve from this standpoint because you can remember yeah in this in this moment i was thinking about this and this i was thinking oh i will win this trade i was thinking the jungle started on red and uh, then he would gank at four minutes instead after a base uh, after a full blue clear right but if you uh, attribute uh, a thought process into the things you do, it's easier to improve. It's also uh, easier to just uh, give 100% in the game. Maintaining focus is key and uh, stepping away from emotions is, uh, is also the key. But also understanding that they will happen no matter what. The goal is not to be uh, emotionless and stone cold. It's about, of course achieving a state of mind where you recognize that this is happening accept it and then move on all right i think that is a very kind of quick way to see at it this is um things that i picked up from you know uh, reading this is uh, my own experience uh, things that i uh, use with the players use it as you wish you know uh, something that i would recommend if you uh, have a hard time finding uh, good meditation clips etc i would strictly recommend um, uh, weldon green's a uh, mac program this is something that i've used personally and uh, i've gone through everything and it is very very beneficial you know it's very very good it's very very high quality and i would recommend it uh, to anyone i'm sure uh, you can find uh, a lot of good examples on the internet as well it's uh, the main thing is that you understand the reason why meditation is so good you know because a lot of people talk about it but i think uh, we can end it there thank you very much for watching if you have any questions post down below i plan on making more videos like this we will see where it goes we will see the response of this one maybe you'll hate me maybe you'll like it we will see uh, see you guys next time thank you very much